So hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Sensational Lifestyle by Heidi. I wanted to greet everyone a happy new year is here. New goal, new plan, news happening and we are here right now in Australia with the um, state calamity. So I hope everything will turn out to be um, alright and good. Hoping for the best and hoping for the recovery of what's going on here in Australia but our focus of the reviewing of the new fragrance that just came from December 2019 so without a further ado let's move on guys so new year is here right now it's 2020 new goals new plan for everyone um as i still i'm a mother of three still ongoing and looking forward for a new adventure new life new beginning and right now here in australia um, i know most of you knows that's what's going on here in australia and i'm hoping and praying that it'll turn out to be all right we're still hoping for a very big rain that i'm still praying that it will come out soon to recover because we're still um, suffering for a bushfire and I hope guys you will pray for this country and hopefully that or there's still rain coming out for this past few for this coming week so let's just move on with the uh, perfume that I would like to review in front of you I haven't opened it ladies and gentlemen but this is for the lady this is a type of tiffany and call love that just came out on 2019 december um so i would love to review this because i heard some of the feedback that it's not that good but i will definitely give my own opinion with you ladies and gentlemen and then let's just move on with directly with the perfume so i will get this perfume um in front of me and Please forgive me if I have someone's running around there as my son sitting beside me and just watching me. Hi! So yes, he's a really, really a good boy and just watching mommy to do the vlogging as I work. So right now I have this Tiffany & Co. Love and they, you can just see this ladies and gentlemen, they just like they erase the Co. and Love. Changes to love. This is they say this is a type of perfume that they tribute to a modern love and this is a really a vibrant a moody um, Unique so let me open it My son's asking me if I open it. So Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the bottle looks like it looks glamorous I like the trademark of Tiffany that's always green packaging um, when I bought it the perfume from them they always do have this package that's always a green background with their Tiffany and Co even with their jewelries and clothing they have this trademark of a green like nature attractive package so let's just move on how you open it I love the package. I love the, the box, the packaging itself. It's really smooth. I love it. I love how is it same as a pen haligon that you're not opening up the um like the top of the box, but you have to uplift the box and it looks nice, guys. I didn't put my oh, I didn't engrave my name, but it looks like nice. This is a i haven't know how how much ml is this i think this is 100 ml i'm not really sure how many ml is this and this is the tiffany on the top of the um the, the box itself hopefully you will see it ladies and there you go yeah and and look at the uh lead you want to hold it for me please okay. thank you so much i have an assistance here so look at the lead I like the lead still the same and then this is just the engrave end so I think you can engrave your name on the bottom or wherever place you wanted to put it your engraved name um, they did this as a simple bottle minimalistic because they want you to become like a personalized bottle you can just ask department store that you buy um, to engrave your name 
um, they offer in this for men and women. So this one is just for women, the one that I have it. So they say this is a fragrance open with a burst of bright and sparkling top notes. Like they made it with a basil and woody blue sequoia, like the exclusive Tiffany exclusive pair it with um, blue grave sequoia. So let me show you ladies and gentlemen look at that look how they engrave this very elegant bottles i like how clearly it is and when they say is it clear it's more on um fresh feminine smells it as all you know i review that in my previous um preview lessons that different type of perfume has a different characteristic and different color so I hope you will um, watch that so let me just spray it ladies and gentlemen hmm. you want to smell it how do you think yes the first thing that I smell how it's remind me of a very light Dolce & Gabbana, ladies and gentlemen. This is a light version of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Sun. And they say this is with the heart of Neroli and blended with woody blue scoa and the vitiver for the base and creations of face and feminine scent. Problem is, I'm a little bit disappointed. It's already gone. This is a very expensive perfume that cost me 200 AUD ladies and gentlemen, especially for the ladies who will always love a Tiffany. We always be attractive with this um, advertisement of Tiffany for the glamorous, seductive, um, elegant women. But right now that I have it with me, and mm. I have a mm. higher expectations mm. about the perfume that I bought because this is not too cheap. And I haven't smelled too much. I haven't smelled a perfume after how many minutes I was talking here. And I haven't smelled it. That's why I was a little bit hesitant to review it because I read in my community that oh one of also um a website that i review after i purchase it that they are very disappointed with this um perfume and i am now i never been disappointed with tiffany when it comes to their jewelries but right now when it comes to the perfume i don't know what is my reactions it's just like i spend a money that i just chuck it in the rubbish and it's a pretty disappointment because how you will explain to seal age okay ladies I spray six you see how much I spray let's see how is it goes nothing I see nothing Mommy, yes what are you doing? I reviewing this perfume we'll, we'll dress up. yes because I'm doing a review sorry about that but yes I spray six it feels like when you spray it it has an oil left over there in your body but the smell is gone it's ah uh, i'm really disappointed to the price that i paid it's a very expensive perfume that they just say okay i'm coming from tiffany and co you buy me because i'm i'm famous I have this name in the public, in the market, and I will attract you. It's not like the other designers that, okay, they have this standard type of perfume longevity. And I cannot say anything because I cannot smell anymore. Three minutes, five minutes, that's a longevity. I'm boxing in front of you. I'm not pretty happy because first I... I open it in front of you new year's new perfume new collections and i'm thinking i hope this is will be a good brand of perfume that i purchase and i won't regret but i'm regret i regret right now if i can return it to the shop that i purchased i will do because it's a waste of money 
I am definitely not um, recommend this and I'm not highly recommend this to the ladies because you're gonna waste your time and waste your money and waste your effort and at the same time you just be regret and be disappointed it's you know what I can say I have my Dolce Gabbana light blue intense it's just $99 and it takes six to seven hours longevity but this one 200 compared to this one $200 it's a waste of money ladies so, oh that's the only thing that I can say because right now I was like Dolce Gabbana, Tiffany, what is the point? So I hope you would love this review even though I'm, I'm disappointed with the type of Tiffany that they produce. It's just a waste of money so I will highly recommend not to buy this. It's still up to you if you want it. If you have the doubt, go to the shop, go to David Jones or go to Myers. Have a little bit of snip if you can sniff it. But for 3 minutes, it's gone. I definitely assure you that I haven't smelled the basil, haven't smelled the grapefruits. I smell a little bit of neroli, not even woody. That's what I can say. They say this is as bright and sparkly. It smells like Dolce and Gabbana. A very, very light smell of Dolce and Gabbana. It's not even touching a sense of citruses of Dolce Gabbana. Nothing. So I hope you would like this type of review. I'm not smiling because I'm a little bit disappointed because it's 200 AUD. So it's not as cheap as you thought. It's very expensive and you as a buyer, as a customer, you expecting the worth of your money that you're paying. And this is not a worth it. Bottle? What you gonna do with the bottle? We buyers buy it the perfume because of the content not because of the design and not because of the name of the brand so that's all i can say so i hope guys you would love this type of review i've become very transparent to you and i hope you subscribe to my channel ring the bell um if you have any suggestions questions comment regarding my um channel or anything regards to perfume and review that i'm doing please do write down below the comment box and i will try my best to do it and i hope you have a very wonderful beginning of the year have a great wonderful afternoon long um evening morning throughout the world and have a great day guys and bye guys